Once in a while, a fossil will be discovered that allows us to view a snapshot into the behavior of a prehistoric animal. Such discoveries are rare, but the paleontologists are among the most exciting finds out there. Such discoveries known to science so far include turtles preserved in the act of mating, ichthyosaurs on the verge of giving birth, and dinosaurs locked in combat. Sometimes, however, it can take scientists a while to determine what exactly a fossil is showing. In the case of Oviraptor, a small feathered theropod dinosaur you will likely be familiar with from Cretaceous Mongolia, its assumed feeding habits were, at the time, revolutionary to science. But how much of it was true? Today, we will be taking a look at the life and natural history of Oviraptor. We will explore everything from its initial discovery to the modern science that disproves important theories made surrounding its lifestyle. We will look at where the dinosaur lived, what it looked like, how it was represented in the media, and who its closest relatives are amongst the dinosaurs. Sit back and relax as we take a trip through time to discover Oviraptor, the falsely accused egg thief. Lifelong learning is something that we're passionate about here at Dinosaur Discovery, so we are proud to be working with Brilliant.org on today's video. While we can provide you with all the fascinating facts and figures about dinosaurs, we can't provide you with interactive lessons to learn maths, logic, or computer science. But Brilliant can. Brilliant is a really effective way to learn, as you're learning by doing, so you can really engage with the topic with their hands-on approach. Interactive learning is far more effective than passive learning something I've noticed while working on the logic course. The visuals let you engage with abstract concepts so you actually understand them, rather than just memorizing rules. It's easy to get started. You can choose how much you want to do, what sort of topic you're interested in, and how confident you are. And then Brilliant will offer you courses that go from the basics to advanced. Brilliant offers fun new content every month, so you can keep engaging your brain, whether you're a student or a professional. You can try it out for free for a full 30 days by going to brilliant.org forward slash dinosaur discovery or by clicking the link in the description. And even better, the first 200 of you to sign up with our link will get 20% off Brilliant's premium annual subscription, so you can learn all year long. You will likely already be familiar with Oviraptor, even if not with the name. It is a dinosaur often represented in mainstream paleomedia. Superficially turkey-like, this was a theropod dinosaur that lived between 75 and 71 million years ago in what is now Mongolia in the late Cretaceous period. The holotype specimen of Oviraptor philoceratops, the only species discovered to date, was around a meter and a half long from head to tail and is assumed to have weighed between 33 to 40 kilograms in total. It was a lightweight theropod and not particularly large at all. What was strikingly unique about this dinosaur was its facial structure. It possessed wide lower jaws which formed a beak-like structure when combined with a crested skull. It was completely toothless, 
something uncommon for a theropod dinosaur. As for the rest of the body, Oviraptor's arms were particularly well-developed and powerful for an animal of its size. Long for a theropod, Oviraptor's arms ended in three elongated curved fingers with sharp claws. Its long legs helped the animal to carry itself across wide open environments with relative speed and ease and its tail was tipped in a broad fan of feathers. These were not the only feathers on Oviraptor's body. Like many small theropods of the Cretaceous, this dinosaur sported a thick, downy covering of feathers that may have aided in insulation or display purposes. Like a modern bird, its arms were heavily feathered and would have resembled wings, although the animal was incapable of flight. These wings may have shown a striking pattern in life that the dinosaur could have used to show off to a potential mate, proving his worth in the gene pool. Oviraptor first became known to science in 1923 when American naturalist Roy Chapman Andrews led an expedition to the reddish sandstones of Mongolia's Jadokta Formation, a fossil site that we have already covered on this channel. Oviraptor was found within the Flaming Cliffs locality and it took three expeditions to the area for the fossils to be initially discovered. In this particular expedition, Oviraptor was one of a few theropods that became entirely new to science. Along with Saur Ornithoides and the uber-famous Velociraptor, and its discovery sparked much intrigue and excitement when the fossils were studied and described subsequently by Henry Fairfield Osborne, an American paleontologist, the following year. The fossil uncovered by Roy Chapman Andrews was incomplete, but enough to show that this was a dinosaur entirely new to science at the time. While the back half of the skeleton was missing, the front end was very much there, although parts of it were in poor condition. The skull of this specimen had been badly crushed over the millions of years preserved in the earth and was attached to an incomplete cervical and dorsal vertebrae, the bones of the neck and back. As well as this, the team were able to uncover a wishbone as well as the dinosaur's left arm, remnants of the hands, a partial hip bone, and some preserved ribs. Based on the discovery of other fossil theropods, this was enough for early paleoartists to reconstruct the skeleton as a lithe, lanky theropod, void of feathers and with long, grasping arms. This would later change upon the advent of the revolutionary findings of feathers in many theropod dinosaurs. What was so remarkable about the discovery of Oviraptor had nothing to do with the form and function of the partial skeleton uncovered from the sediments, but rather what the dinosaur was doing when it died. The dinosaur was found partially splayed out over a fossil nest containing 15 eggs. The skull was only separated from these eggs by 10 centimeters of sediment meaning that both the dinosaur and the nest were in extremely close proximity when they died. How they died is yet to be determined, but a likely cause of death is perhaps a landslide or sandstorm that buried the two specimens under the harsh desert sands of the Jadokta Formation, frozen in time 
for over 70 million years. What was particularly striking about Oviraptor's presence on this nest was that the eggs did not seem to belong to a theropod. In fact, paleontologists at first assumed that the nest belonged to Protoceratops, a small ceratopsian dinosaur famous for its ancient conflicts with Velociraptor. Was this the first evidence of an egg-eating dinosaur? Did these fossils broadcast ancient evidence of an egg thief that would raid the nests of unsuspecting herbivores for its next meal? This was massive news. Oviraptor was subsequently named, with the full scientific binomial name, Oviraptor philoceratops. This translates into English as egg caesar with a fondness for ceratopsian eggs. Due to the positioning and perceived nature of the fossils found. For years, this image stuck. Oviraptor was portrayed as a crafty sneak, waiting until the target turned its back on its nest, only to cautiously wander in and grab what it could before it was chased away. It took around 70 years for this image to fade from the eyes of science. And to this day, it still persists in the media. It wasn't until the 1990s that more and more specimens of Oviraptor, along with some of its close cousins in the same family, started to be discovered, which actually showed nesting behaviors of the dinosaurs incubating their eggs. Many of these dinosaurs sat on top of their nests, with their bones in a similar proximity to those of the Oviraptor type specimen. They sat in a crouched position, on top of their nest of eggs, with their legs splayed out on either side of their body, to allow the maximum area of the parent dinosaur to make contact with the clutch. When these eggs and nests were studied, Using updated technology, it became apparent that the eggs in the holotype fossil did not belong to a ceratopsian dinosaur at all, but rather the Oviraptor itself. The parent dinosaur was simply just sat on the nest, incubating the eggs in preparation for them hatching all this time. For 70 years, the myth that Oviraptor was a cunning egg thief persisted. But now we know this is not the case. Oviraptor's entire name is therefore obsolete. In reality, these dinosaurs were likely carnivores, but ones without a taste for eggs. Most sources indicate that these feathered theropods fed on a mixture of small vertebrates and insects, occasionally combing the edges of water for fish and mollusks. Nevertheless, Oviraptor's legacy as a consumer of eggs lives on, as we will see in this next segment. Despite the fact that the truth about Oviraptor's lifestyle has been slowly trickling into the mainstream media for decades now, the dinosaur is still often represented as the egg thief it was not. While Oviraptor was shown briefly wandering through a desert in Disney's 1940 film Fantasia, it wasn't really portrayed extensively in the media until after the revelations surrounding its true lifestyle came to light. In 2000, Disney released Dinosaur, a 3D animation film featuring CGI talking dinosaurs. For many, it was the first introduction they received to dinosaurs in the media. Although, from a purely scientific standpoint, the movie does not do much to show dinosaurs in an accurate light. Dinosaurs from a multitude of different localities and time periods are shown interacting together, 
and many of the designs were outdated at the time the film was released. Oviraptor was one of the very first dinosaurs to appear in the movie. Two individuals are shown fighting over an egg in a jungle environment before tossing it into a river. The oviraptors in the film are inaccurate for a number of reasons. The general shape of the crest and skulls are wrong, as are the fact that the dinosaurs appear to be completely void of feathers. In fact, the oviraptors, designed by concept artist Ricardo Delgado, were initially written as feathered hunters of small animals. This would have been a much more accurate depiction. But as such, the classic depiction of the featherless lizard-like dinosaur reigned supreme in the media. Since the late 90s, Oviraptor has become more and more common in dinosaur books typically ones aimed at the younger generations. In these books, it is included usually to broadcast the diversification of theropods, showing that not all of them were bloodthirsty giant carnivores. In reality, Oviraptor was neither an egg thief nor a bloodthirsty giant carnivore, and many depictions in these books remain incorrect. It is only in recent books that are typically written by paleontologists or individuals in the industry that usually get the depictions right. Moreover, Oviraptor made a brief appearance in 2022's Jurassic World Dominion and the accompanying computer game Jurassic World Evolution 2. This depiction is for the Jurassic World franchise, rather good. The dinosaur appears with a full coat of feathers and is not shown as an egg thief. This follows the trend of feather dinosaurs slowly permeating the media. And perhaps eventually, we will get to see Oviraptor for what it really was. Oviraptor occupied the Jadokta Formation, a vast expanse of desert and scrubland that stretched out over Mongolia towards the Late Cretaceous. We have previously covered this fossil formation on this channel in great detail, which we would recommend you viewing after this to get an idea of the ins and outs of what it was like to live there as a dinosaur. In life, Oviraptor would have wandered across vast stretches of sand with sparse vegetation. It would have occasionally come into contact with rivers and lakes and may have relied on these for food. It likely laid its eggs in clutches close to sheltered areas, perhaps rocky outcrops or near bushes. It would have lived alongside some of the most iconic dinosaurs in all of prehistory, as it lived and survived. Most notably, the Jadokta Formation was home to Velociraptor mongoliensis, the most famous of the small theropod dinosaurs by far. Due to its size and place in the ecosystem, it is not out of the question that Oviraptor occasionally fell victim to small groups of Velociraptor when prey was scarce. Velociraptor would not have been the top of the food chain here though, as the land was also stocked by various undetermined species of Tyrannosaur. Whether or not remains obtained from these dinosaurs thus far come from known specimens is yet to be determined but they were likely the top predators of the Jadokta Formation. Other theropods of the region include various Trudontids and other Oviraptorids, as well as Alvarezsaurs and Ornithomimosaurs. The very famous Protoceratops 
also wandered the sands of Jadokta in large numbers. This was a small ceratopsian, distantly related to North American Triceratops. There is direct evidence of Velociraptor preying upon or attempting to prey upon Protoceratops, and scenes like these may have been very familiar to Oviraptor as it wandered across the deserts. In fact, Ceratopsians were among the most populous of the Ornithischian dinosaurs known from this locality. With dinosaurs such as Bagaceratops, Bainoceratops, and the larger Udanoceratops. And Chylosaurs such as Panacosaurus were also present, as was the Pachycephalosaur Goyocephaly. As for the sauropods, there is only one undetermined species known from Jadokta. The Jadokta formation is also known for its array of small vertebrates. Many genera of mammals are known from here, some of which may have fallen prey to Oviraptor. As well as this, many early enantiornithine birds flew across the skies and perched upon the sparse vegetation, whilst turtles and lizards gathered along the riverbanks of the region's sparse water coverings. To this day, over 20 distinct genera of Oviraptorids are known. These dinosaurs are all in the family Oviraptoridae, and many genera are similar. All of the Oviraptorids were bird-like in appearance, most comparable to a modern-day turkey or pheasant. They all had toothless beaks, and many of them possessed crests, some of which were much longer and more elaborate than others. Typically, the Oviraptorids were small dinosaurs, usually only a meter or two in length from head to tail, and the most identifiable feature of the dinosaurs in the family is the skull structure. Their skulls were short, but deep, with the crests jutting out high in the air in some genera. They were closely related to the Signatha dinosaurs, from the family Signathidae. Only some of the Signatha dinosaurs were incomparably huge when contrasted against their more famous Oviraptorid cousins. The majority of the Oviraptorids are known from similar localities to Oviraptor, focused mainly in and around Mongolia and China's Gobi Desert regions. They are split into two subfamilies, the Oviraptoridae and the Heiyuanianae, with several outlying species that are yet to be placed within either. Other Oviraptorids from the same locality as Oviraptor include the famous City Patty, Ovimimus, and Khan, as well as Macroolithus and Elongato Olithus. Outside of the Jadokta fossil formation, a whole array of Oviraptorids inhabited other regions of Mongolia and China, including Yulong, Corythoraptor, Namectomaya, Rinchenia, and Tongtianlong. Oviraptor is a classic case of things not being entirely what they seem in the paleontological world upon the first instance of studying fossils. While upon closer inspection, Oviraptor's entire lifestyle was not what it seemed, the damage was already done to the animal's reputation in the media. While it is slowly recovering now, and the world is beginning to see Oviraptor for what it was, it has been a long road to recovery, with modern paleontologists putting in their best efforts to show the dinosaur for what it was. <laughs>